Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, I'm just gonna do a quick how to set up for that one shot that I just did. Um, it's a simple to light setup. I just wanna go over the different techniques, the positioning I did as a light, the settings I used, and we're gonna go over all the different um, elements that came into the photo. So please tag along, but before you do, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon, just so whenever I upload, you're the first to know. Um, make sure to follow me on my Instagram, at Joshua Martinez Photo. But for now, please enjoy the video. Okay, so this is my two light setup. So basically, I just have a five feet octobox with a flash 0600 just like this one. Um, you don't need to have such a big octobox. Honestly, you just use your flash and put a bathroom curtain that works well too. The main point having this is to, um, you wanna diffuse the light and um, enlarge it, right? in comparison to the subject, which in this case is the watch. The larger the light source, the softer the, the light over the watch is going to be. So that's gonna be my main light source. My second light source is going to be this uh, flash point. Since it has that honeycomb grid, it's going to be very concentrated um, right over by this area. Um, so that's basically why I have the honeycomb grid there. So let's just uh, jump over to the computer and see the final results. We're just going to do our main light source for this one. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take that shot. Let's see how that looks. Okay. So it's, uh, it's looking good. Uh, a bit on the darker side, not that much of a, the light kiss I wanted to aim for. Um, so let's go ahead and adjust our settings. We want to boost that up a bit more. So let's just go ISO 100 and give that another go. So now we're seeing that more, you know, we definitely have more uh, light. We have more highlights, more definition, but I'm still not seeing that um, catch light. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring that light source a bit closer to the watch, just a tad bit. Um, and let's give that another rip. So let's hit escape, like that. And there we go. That's the light kiss we want. Um, it's a bit angled if you ask me. So let me just make a quick adjustment. We're going to move this just a slight bit to kind of match how the watch is laid out. And pull it a bit. Um, move it just a slight bit. Square it out. And let's do, let's redo that shot. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Slight sun kiss, but you can see here how this kind of squares out and it doesn't go the full way. Um, move it just a slight bit. Square it out. Yeah, let's do, let's redo that shot. Okay, so now that I have it around the ballpoint of kind of the catch light, how I want it nice and straight, you know, ish. Uh, composition looks great. Um, everything looks fine. Um, now I want to fill in these blacks. I have a second light set up, um, but you're able to do that with anything. Regular paper, a white cardboard. You could honestly use anything you want. Um, for the sake of showing how you can use more than one light source, I'm just going to boost mine up right here i'm able to turn this on on my transmitter I'm able to turn it on and get that running and turn the modeling lights on right there okay so then let's see how the final image looks but so far it's looking fantastic okay so back to the computer Go ahead and take that shot again. With the second light, 
funny. So way, way better. Um, you're getting all the beauty of the, you know, the main light source, and then you're gonna fill in those shadows and everything, and voila. So that's basically how I did the whole photo and everything in camera, but if you're wanting to know how I merged both photos together in post-production, please let me know in the comments and I would be more than happy to make that video for you. But for now, I just wanted to keep things simple. I'm a true believer of doing as much as you can inside of the camera and that's what I did today. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.